raise a glass with me? It's Durban now. D E R V A A. Kings do the Not fighting. Not Voidemar. But peasants do the What do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutty. What kind of name is that anyway? Durban. Nilfgaard. My gran was from Nazaire. Oh, so that's how it is. Then by my leave, Master Durbin, may the gold sun guide you far away from my land. Uh-oh. Is that person stretching? If you sing that, boy, you're gonna get in trouble. Oh. No, Guardian Soldier. Jarrell has learned from experience he calls on his surroundings and travels, for he never knows when he'll run into something, someone or something of interest. A damsel in distress, a merchant peddling rares, wh rare wares, or a nest of pesky monsters. Such locations are marked on your map with the following. Ooh, an armorer, blacksmith, herbalist, alchemist, place of power. Cool, monster nest, armor, stable, grindstone. Can I talk to you? You talk to the bollocks and the skin yeah. rights you. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. Ah, yeah. You're not to play with Chetty no more. But Chetty's my best mate. Yeah, Chetty's a little fool who will get us all killed. I see you with him again and you'll regret it. I poked it. Ah. Oh, the Imperial Garrison hereby announces that every week the village's poor may come die to collect food rations. Rations will be distributed only to supplicants able to document proof of their poverty. Cheats will be punished like any other thieves under the full extent of the law. If you can prove that you're poor, looking to borrow a plow. Hey, lads, is there any among you that can lend me a plow? The thing is, mine smacked up against a stone in my field so hard it bent halfway. And may a fiend take me if I know how to fix it or plow my field without it. Take it to a blacksmith. The new order. This Thursday, all peasants living nearby are invited to come listen to Captain Peter Blah, subject... Speaking on the subject of the laws soon to be introduced in the lands by writ of our most gracious sovereign, Emir Blah. Attendance is not obligatory, but every resident of White Orchard should partake of this opportunity to learn what rights they will enjoy and duties they will have under the new order. Good folk, you no longer live in a barbarous land where every man see, does as he sees fit. You are now part of the great empire of Nilfgaard, and Nilfgaardian law now protects you, yet it also ascribes you new obligations. Imperial forces have brought you the torch of enlightenment. Grab hold of it, and your dark age shall soon give way to a bright new era. Just give up all your freedoms. I guess I'll take all of these. Volunteers wanted by order of Captain Peter. Let it be here, be, hereby be known that enlistment in the Imperial Army is now open. Recruits will be provided with room, board, and regular pay. The greatest payment of all is the honor. Yes, serving this guy with a ridiculously long name. Once enlisted, recruits will be trained under the tutelage of the Empire's greatest strategist. Recruits' families will be assured sufficient sustenance for the entire time of their service. In the case of their death in the field of glory, they will receive a lifelong pension. Yes, please enlist and fight your, own, your kinsmen. Turn around once more and fight your kinsmen that you once fought to protect this land with. That totem looks like it's crying. Brother missing. Bastion, my brother went off to fight the black ones. I have reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, I know it's like he did. I give him up to the ground... I give him up to the ground the least, like our fathers have always done. I bury him neath the barrow where our parents lie, not need his corpse to be ate by the corpses prowling the battlefield. So I seek a man brave, able with sword, and willing to venture out with me to find Bastion. I won't pay much, for I have not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it a plenty. Any man willing to help, look for a raised hut along the road to the White Orchard just near the bridge. I've made camp there. Dune Vildenvert. Contract, devil by the well. Good folk, I know there's a war on and every man's got trouble enough of his own, but perhaps with one of you could help a father in need. You all surely know the well in the ruined village and the devil that guards it with jealous fury. And if you don't, well, come ask and I'll tell you about it. Whoever drives that monster away from the well will get a fat purse full of gold. Just don't tarry for its urgent matter. There is much of interest to be found in the world's dense forests and fog-clad swamps. Whenever you pursue peruse a notice board, question marks will appear in the minimap to indicate potentially interesting places. Seek them out to learn what secrets they have. Look at me. Ah, yes, go to the world map. Oh, what's this, what's this exclamation point over here? What the fuck I am think I those plums are beating hey. havoc on the gut. What? Uh... 
Your house is in bad shape. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. <laughs> what do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set alight me me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang Dent out to plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. Uh, okay, so I have to be a jerk. I can find your arsonist for a price. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. I wasn't sure if dwarves were long-lived as well. Looks like they are, though. Twist it. Oh, I can. I press the right button down to track the quest. Track the quest. Um, let's see. What's this? Um, is this stealing? Thanks, guy. What's that? Oh. Are you yawning? Oh! Oh no! Did I just use my thing? No! I didn't mean to! No! Shoot! There's something over there. Let me get these plants. Tracks! Blueprints. A man's. Large. Oh, I got something. I got something more. Wait, where are you at, Trax? Okay. What's that? Stinks of piss and vodka. Ew. Did I get it? I'm standing in it. I like how quiet it gets. Okay. Well, I'm gonna gather some of these. What? The water isn't safe. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Okay. Oh. Do I have to worry about money? Like exchanging different kinds of money? Hey, it's can I talk to you? Most and women bathe but once every three moons. You are an hard feeling. Okay. A hen. Well... Where 
Where do his tracks go? Oh! Came out here. Can't decide. Should we draw it or not? Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Sure, but not so sure. Who knows? Will you go to the well in Hovel instead? Not on your life. I'd rather be ill than disturb a ghost. Ah! My grand told me about Smithfield. Come on, let me let me see it. Tracks lead back to the village. Is this blood? Don't you look at me, Witcher? I know to do it. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Word is they laid his corpse to rest. Marshash in the creek. Looking for trouble? Me? I want some mushrooms. Oh, are you looking for trouble? These geese are insane. Oh. I just, oh, I just walk in the doors. But I'll recognize him by his wounds. Yeah, I'll just, uh, hey. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I just walk in, nobody cares. Hey. Marks. It's gotta be him. He's got a wounded arm. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. You sound like a dirtbag. Nope. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy. But I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll <laughs> beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me. He's drunk and an idiot, so. Come on. Gotta go. Yep. Apologize. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Gotta go apologize. Uh, where is he at? Is Boydemar, will you ride the class with me? It's Durban now. D E R A N. Not Boydemar. Uh... Well, what do you mean? Oh, okay. Take it. Oh, I'd hit a razor. What? Up and at him. Hmm? What? What? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nearly a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk, didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. They're gonna kill him? Wow. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, 
I hated the black ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Okay. Oh boy, I got big loud music. Look at me go. How do I? Leave me be. Uh, I'm still level one. Jeez. Character. Let's see. Oh my gosh, what are these? <laughs> Gotta put my glasses on for this stuff. Jeez. Tiny little numbers, letters. I like Inquisition's font. It's everything's capitalized, but it's kind of like it's yelling at you, but. Oh boy. Uh, fast attack, strong attack, defense, wolf school, defensive techniques. Ooh, allows you to wield a light handheld crossbow. Okay. Muscle memory. Oh. Jeez, and like each one has like five or three points in it that you gotta get. Ah. Uh, friggin' jeez. Well, then you got this. The signs and alchemy and general stuff. Oh, suns and stars. During the day, vitality regenerates an additional 10 points per second when not in combat. Wow. At night, stamina regenerates an additional 1 point per second during combat. Increases maximum vitality. So these are really important to get, I would assume. Cat school technique. Each piece of light armor increases critical hit damage by 25%. Each piece of medium armor increases sign intensity by 5%. Stamina regeneration by 5 Heavy armor increases vitality. Strong attack damage increases maximum toxicity. Adrenaline points increase both weapon damage and sign intensity. Using signs that generates adrenaline points. Oh, signs can be cast using adrenaline points. Okay. To rest until a specific time, select a time. Okay. Oh, oh okay, so you can get specific then. That's nice. Bestiary. Griffins. Entries in the bestiary provide additional information about monsters, including tips and strategies for how best to fight them. So they're vulnerable to grenades, or a specific kind, a grape shot. In a hybrid oil, and aired. I don't know what that one does. I, half eagle, half tomcat, just like on the Lord's Crest, said this one was carrying me dead cow instead of a scepter. Griffin attack witness, name unknown. Griffins were once only found high in the mountains where they would hunt marmots and wild goats. When humans encroached on their lands, however, griffins soon discovered a new source of much more plentiful and easier caught prey. Cows, sheep, and shepherd. Though still wary of main roads and towns where folk with the means to hire a richer are likely to dwell, these half-eagle, half-wild cat creatures have gone through from rarities to often counter pests known throughout the northern realms, especially hated are the subspecies known as royal griffins and arch griffins. Okay. They look terrifying. Okay, well, let me look at it. Necrophage. Yeah, this is cool. I like having a bestiary. Oh, I see. So the more I find, the more I'll get in there. I see. Like, these are a hybrid section because it's a, it's a griffin. And the necrophage are all things that are, like, eat people. Ghouls creep and crawl at night, eating everything in sight. In a snap, they'd eat you, too. Chop you up for ghoulish stew. Children's rhyme. Ghouls and grave years are hard to describe. In part, they resemble humans, yet on the whole, they are the utter negation of all that is human. Though they have arms and legs like men, they walk on all fours like dogs or badgers. But they have eerily familiar faces. One searches them in vain for any sign of sentiment, reason, or even a spark of consciousness. 
They are driven by one thing and one thing only, an insatiable craving for human flesh. And they are vulnerable to necrophage oil. All right. Um, so you can't become a ghoul if ghouls just exist. Characters. Oh, Cirilla. Cirilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rian. And what can I possibly say about her? That we call her Siri for short. That she was born in Sol 51. That she has an ash, that she has ashen hair and a scar on her cheek. All true, and that's the Cirilla I know best. The one I first laid eyes on that was many years ago. The one who seemed thoroughly well, not ordinary, but certainly not as extraordinary as she, in fact, is. For Cirilla is... Why is it do... I want to scroll down. Dandelion! Can I not scroll down? Is it not a scroll downy thing? It looks like it is. She is a highly skilled witcher, heiress to several thrones, the last bearer of the Elder Blood, a powerful source endowed with exceptional magic talent, and a lady of time and space. Her hair color and date of birth seem rather incidental now, don't they? I could also tell you that she is Geralt's adopted daughter, but that would be a gross simplification. Siri is much more. She is his destiny, his unexpected child, someone bound to the Witcher by fate's most inextricably tangled feather fetters. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. A man known elder speech is Gwynblad, or in our younger yet known as local tongue, that's the white wolf. He Dandelion's being very, very nice. I would wager anyone that you, dear reader, are a person of culture and taste, and therefore already familiar with me, Dandelion, and the role I am to play in the following tale. Nevertheless, allow me to sketch a few lines by way of self portrait for the sake of thoroughness and in the event. You have spent much of the last half century in some dark corner of the light of my stars yet to reach. Born in 1229, a talent poet and troubadour, a graduate of Oxenford Academy, a frequent performer at royal courts, an unequaled lover appreciated, and in some cases adored by ladies worldwide, a skilled negotiator and a stirring orator. Such is the image of the bar down the line is painted by his friends and promoters. These images, of course, see, you should be able to scroll down, but I can't. <laughs> eh. Oh, okay. Did I just... Okay, now I see. This image is, of course, somewhat overbright in its coloring. I personally prefer to think of myself as a dedicated artist and its thrall enthralled to his muse. One whose work has benefited immeasurably from the fact that I, uh, I was, am, and forever will remain a close friend and steadfast companion to the Witcher Geralt. It is his fate I chronicle in this present work and his story which I shall sing to the end of my days. Interesting. Uh, following the age old witch tradition, Geralt took Ciri to care more him when she came to, into his care. There he and Vesemir taught her in the ways of the professional monster slayer. It was then that her magic talents were first revealed, and they discovered she was a source. Ciri's gift proved a curse as well. Because of it, she would one day have to hide from the entire world, even Geralt. Yeah, I'm current. I really need to read the fifth book that I have. I don't know. I don't know how connected they are. Really. But at this point, she's un sort of an unwilling, she's unwillingly away. On the surface, he's introverted, tight-lipped, one might even say gruff, underneath lies an overflowing sea of goodwill, good humor, and an honest readiness to help his friends be with a bit of sound advice the masterful applica application of his blade. Setting aside cumbersome false modesty, I can say that I know his story better than any man alive. I was with him through hard times and good, helping with wise advice, warm words, and razor wit. As a result, I'm a vital part of his story. This all sounds very much like Dandelion exaggerating the truth. Esku. Esku and Geralt, the similarities are particularly striking. The first met, the first met, they first met as two boys in the same age swinging wooden swords that care more him. They then went through an ordeal to get it. The first round of selections, the murderous changes, the trial of grasses, then trading on the gauntlet. The witcher's daunting obstacle course. They also received hidings together from more than one act of childish delinquency. 
When they became adults, they walked the path separately, but still reconvened at Kaer Morhen nearly every winter to wait out the cold, drink to their successes, and remember fallen comrades. Though Eskel never gained Geralt's renown, he equaled the White Wolf in experience and carried out his contracts with care and efficiency. Death had almost taken him many times during his hunts, yet in an ironic twist of the hideous scar on his face came not from a monster's claw, but from the blade of Deidre Edelman, his highly unpredictable, unexpected child. What? Who's Deirdre? His highly unpredictable, unexpected child. Who's his unexpected child? Lambert, he's a jerk. <laughs> the youngest among the leaders at Kaer Morhen, and perhaps the last ever train within its walls. By the start of our tale, Lambert had proven his chops many times over, having hunted down many a mighty beast and traversed nearly all the continent's realms several times over. Yet he'd also developed a reputation for his arrogance and sardonic humor, and his gruff and at times excessively blunt manner could irritate even his fellow witches at the school of the wolf. Whatever his vices, it went without saying that Lambert would brave the fires of hell for any of his companions. Vesemir. Vesemir was the oldest living member of the wolf school and the most likely the oldest witcher of any school on the continent. Is there more schools somewhere? About as long in years as the ruins of Kaer Morhen themselves, and though eternally complaining about his creaky bones, this master of the witcher trade gave no thought to a well-deserved retirement. Gray but still spry, he continued to ply the monster hunting trade into his golden years, effectively too, as he'd see more beasts than all his students put together. A harsh and demanding instructor in Geralt's youth, over the years he had become something of an adoptive father and mentor to the other witchers, always ready to help with sage advice and steady hands. In the spring of, of 1272, when our story begins, Vesemir had joined Geralt on his search for Yennefer, trekking with him through war-ravaged Temeria. Yennefer! The Witcher first met the raven-haired sorceress a good twenty years back. Their friendship and the feelings between them were born of a common adventure involving a genie and a wish granted to Geralt that intertwined their fates inextricably. How does that even work? I don't even understand. Yeah, I remember that part in the book, but I was like, so that's it? That's what ties them together? Lust and a wish from a genie? In the time since their relationship had, however, been quite... In the time since then, their relationship had, however, been quite stormy. Rich in ups and downs, crises and breakups, Geralt and Yennefer's love provides irrefutable proof of the thesis that opposites attract. A few years ago, Geralt and Yennefer had, after a long separation full of adventures for them both, gotten back together again. Their moment of repose was interrupted by the wild hunt, which took Yennefer captive! The witcher set out at once to save her, but lost his memory while doing so. When he finally recovered it, he immediately set off once more on his quest to find his beloved sorceress. I was wondering how the lo memory loss would play into it, because in the books he doesn't hasn't had memory loss. But in, I think at the beginning of two, do you get do you? I don't remember exactly when he loses his memory and when he regains it. Okay, interesting. All right, well I guess not a whole lot's happened, but um. Oh oh oh. Look at that. Cured liver. What is that? I can, like, modify my armor? Okay. Wow, look at all this stuff. Ooh, cool. Interesting. Wow! Craftsman's level is too low! Oh my gosh, you gotta worry about that? Craftsman requirements! Holy buckets! Is there a master one or something? Journeyman seems to be the highest I've got. That needs That's needed anyway. Journeyman isn't too high. Okay, alchemy. If you want to see list of components or ingredients, require for a given formula or diagram when you enter the shop panel. Select to perform the pin action. Eh? If you select the crafting diagram or alchemy formula and pin it, a list of the ingredients or components needed huh, makes it easier to keep track of what you need to acquire. If you select a crafting diagram or alchemy formula and pin it, a list of the components. Uh, what do I need? 
I need that. That's it. Okay. What about? Okay. Okay. Well, how do you pin it? How do you pin it? Sam, um, blinds opponent to the next explosion radius. Destroys monster nest. Destroys monster nest. Shrapnel one. All right. I guess I'll probably find more uh, recipes too. Holy buckets, cat! I could just make a cat. Oh, grand sight in total darkness. It's a master item. Fifteen toxic. Oh, right, because the elixirs and stuff are actually not very good for... I think they're poisonous to everyone else, but they are not very good for witchers. Okay, so that's what the toxicity keeping track of was. Like, if I don't... If I if I drink probably... If the, the effect duration, if I drink too much, it, and, it, and it adds up, I'll probably be hindered in some way. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Inventory. New items. Here are my currently equipped items. Here are the other items I have. We select a tab. Okay, most important character stats. Nice, they put what they are next to the symbol. To equip an item, put it in the books, like the books tab. OMG, look at that, I have a book stab. Select the item. Why? Okay. Now I can use this potion during gameplay. I don't, it wasn't a potion. Read for additional information. Forgive me for not, uh, dear friend. I, uh, I have important news. Okay. So I have to read a recipe. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, see? Okay. Others. Can be exchanged for crowns at the Vivaldi. So I do have to worry about um, currency exchange. Worn leather pelt. I'll probably dismantle that. Probably dismantle that. And probably dismantle that. What do I do with this? Okay, what if you didn't pick that up, though? How do I use my ranged weapon? Let me, let me do that one. Ooh, sort items. I can do it in here too. Ha <laughs> I was curious. Oh, look, they um. Oh, so I don't have to use that up. Okay. Interesting. So it takes up a. It's not just like each square gets one, but depending on how many. Like how big an item is, 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 um... Okay, that's funny. You can run around naked. Consumables. I have bombs and pockets. I have a saddle. I need, ooh, you get saddle bags. I can get a trophy? Horse blinder. Why would I want a horse blinder? A horse equipped with a saddle won't tire as easily? That doesn't seem right. Okay. Oh, so I can put stuff in there? I don't know. Okay. La la nurse bears! If you have a champion. Okay, I did. Press A to track the selected quest. I don't want to track that one. I want to... I actually want to do this one first. Uh, 
So as his wand, as was his wand when it came to all things, Jennifer, the witch would race off at breakneck speed. Alas, he arrived too late. Passing armies had raised will be to the ground. Jennifer was nowhere in sight with the help of Vesemir, whom Gerald had encountered along the way. Gerald picked up her trail when the two it was two witches had followed. Yen had ridden north, traversing wildlands and battlefields at great speed. She was in a hurry. Perhaps she was in trouble. He does do that. As far as I can tell, he just drops everything to help Yennefer out. <laughs> Which I also don't get, and I don't like. It's like, man, just just do your own thing. He's like, totally loses it when it comes to her. I like this yet yetitation thing. Okay. Alright, well now that I've explored everything, mostly. That's it. Wow. Wow. Uh, I guess I will call it here. Um, so thank you guys for bearing with me. I'm trying to get several episodes recorded tonight. At least, uh, four or so. So that way, I have stuff to upload while I'm gone doing my archaeology thing. But beginning parts are always a bit boring, I'm sure, but it's stuff I have to figure out or else I'm not gonna play the game well. <laughs> so... Anyway, thank you all for joining me again. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. I will see you in the next one.